Hello, it's been a minute or two. Uh, I've been very busy at work because you lot won't stop buying stuff on Amazon and so I've been working like 12, 13 hour shifts trying to keep on top of things. Um, so I haven't made a lot of videos, I haven't made a lot of progress. But let me show you what's been going on while I haven't been filming. The first thing is this. That is an alternator cover for a Subaru Impreza and I've started making a mould of that with my newfound skills. I'm going to put another layer on there so I can just stiffen it up. And I have this strut brace, for, which I've removed from the Subaru because I'm going to paint that gold because, you know, gold, gold means horsepower. The other thing I've done is a Mark II on the carbon fibre radiator scoop thing. So this is uh, much sturdier, still got a bit of flippy floppy on it, but it's much better. This narrow part is just a flat sheet and so it's got a bit of bend in this position. But this one has come out much nicer. Still got a few holes in it, so I'll have to fill them in with a bit of epoxy resin before I fill it with silica powder. Uh, and then this one can go on Dave's STI, but this one came out better. It's uh, practice makes perfect, one of those situations. I'll tell you it up, again, I've made more stirring sticks, and I've learned that with acetone, let me see if I've got a bottle of that somewhere, acetone, one can clean paintbrushes so that you don't have to throw them away every time. Now, uh, on the bad side, I've learned that there is such a thing as a splinter from epoxy, because my hands have been full of them, like there's all these little bumps and stuff where, I don't know if you can see on the bottom there, all these little bumps where I've got splinter, oh, this wasn't right here, hang on, let me see if I can zoom this in, can I? Yes, yeah, but there's a splinter on my finger there. You see that tiny little splinter there in my fingers? I've got these everywhere. So apparently, epoxy splinters are a thing. A thing to be feared, because they're very irritating. I've had to buy more supplies. This is from Easy Composites again. Uh, they are now out of stock of laminating resins and gel coats and stuff, so I've had to... So I bought up before they ran out. So this is something called fumed silica, which apparently it's horrible toxic shit, and you don't want to breathe it. Paper padding in there. Comes in a nice, oh, it's a very lightweight box. This stuff is a very fine white powder. Now you mix this in with your epoxy resin to make it thicker, and make something called peanut butter. And that helps sand it. What else have we got? I'll reuse that. Ooh! This uh, little carbon fibre right angle thing is to do with this is to go along with this piece right here. Because after I take a silicon mould of the new Mega Scoop, I'm going to need a way of fixing it to the car. And so I have these carbon fibre pieces and I will have them on the inside of the mould, just cut up ever so slightly, so that. God damn it. Why is it really dropping things? Again, at least I didn't hit my balls. So I'm going to have to put these on the sides somehow, and that way I can attach it to the car. It's going to be a bit of a mischief. Right, let me talk you through this thing. This is styrene foam, or XPS as they call it, extruded polystyrene, um, and it is Moulded and sanded to well, not moulded. It is. It isn't. It is sanded to a shape that I am happy with, which mimics the hood scoop. It's 12 centimeters tall, and I've coated it in a couple of layers of epoxy. Now I didn't show you this because it took bloody ages and it was really dull. Uh, but epoxy is really hard to sand. It's not quite smooth. Oh, let me take the direct light off. Oh, can, can we see there now? Can we see there? Right, okay, we can. So you can see the texture is still a little ripply. It is almost impossible to get that smooth, but I'm going to have to try a little harder. I can't get filler because then I would have to go to Halfords or a body shop or something in order to get some filler and just do that. But also the materials react together, so I can't just put polyester filler onto this because it'll just melt the foam. And most of the fillers I saw, like just a normal catalog body filler, it's all polyester resin. What instead I have to do is take my 
epoxy laminating resin, mix it with this powdery dust, and make something which is the consistency of peanut butter. Which is what I'm going to do today. Because all of these little holes in the side, I don't know if I can get an angle here that you can see. So do you see all these little holes and pock marks and stuff on the side? If I mould off that, it'll come out in my final product. So I've got the shape, but this looks like the surface of the moon right now, and I need to smooth that out so that it doesn't look like dog shit when I take a mould from it. Because in this case, I'm not mo I'm not moulding from a part anymore with a smooth plastic surface. I'm mo moulding from my own surface. So however smooth I get this is how smooth my mould will be and then my part, ultimately. So, polyester body filler won't work, that was all I could get, so I've learned a thing which is epoxy resin and fumed silica powder. So I'm going to mix some of that up and uh, fill in some of these gaps. Well then I have mask on, gloves on, and I have three brief missions from this next batch of resin. This is what I find I'm doing. I'm mixing a batch of resin and then trying to knock out several tasks at the same time. So in this case, I'm going to fill in a couple of little holes, like there's some little pin holes in this mould, and I've marked one, two, three, four, five spots where I need to put some more resin in. These, uh, these tiny little pieces of, of uh, chop strand. I'm going to plug up those gaps. I'm going to drop resin into these pin holes here on this mould so that I can try and sand them smooth, so that this can be presentable to go into Big Dave's SDI. And then I'm going to make a putty out of the epoxy resin using this fumed silica and I have to do all of that in like 17 minutes before the epoxy hardens and turns into something completely useless. So I've got my putty knife, I've got my brush, what I washed and I am reusing and I'm ready to go. So I'll move the camera and you can just see what I'm doing. Right, first let's have a look at what's inside this fumed silica. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. There is fine dust particles all through the air now. Immediately upon opening that. That will fuck you up if you don't have a mask on. Look how fine that is. Well, maybe you can't see but look how fine it is. It's like it's almost like a paste, it just, it just disintegrates into nothing. Okay, don't breathe that, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to pop the lid off it, and then I'm going to, oh it's in the air, it's everywhere! That is like the worst dust ever! Oh wow, see those guys that like, I saw people using this on YouTube, and like before I bought this I looked on YouTube to see how to make this putty paste. And this guy's just mixing it up without wearing a mask or anything. And they say in the video, they say, make sure you wear a mask that's, you know, set up for organic or whatever. But they're not wearing one themselves. They are 100% breathing this dust. I've got lights in the background here and you can see it all floating in the sky. Sky? In the, in the air. Uh, no, that, uh, don't, don't breathe that if at all possible. That is horrible shit. Make sure my wife doesn't know I have that in here, she'd be paranoid. Hi Jesse, love you. Right, step one, basic resin mix. Uh, fill on some gaps, and then I'm going to make this putty and see how I get on. I am going to put, I'm going to put goggles on too because that stuff, that looks horrible. I want, I want nothing to do with it. So I'm going to put goggles on also. There we go. Stylish. Every little helps. Man, I must be getting old now that I'm taking safety seriously. Right, I have my resin mixed up. I have my stirring stick. I'm actually going to use my stirring stick to drop into this hole here. Okay, that's too much, but I just learned a thing. That's the first part. I'm going to leave that to dry and see if that uh, improves the resin situation there sorts out some of the little pinholes that are in it. The next thing is to sort that out and fill in some of my holes. Uh, this is boring though, so I won't film that. Two very boring minutes later. Right, well, that's done. I've done some little sticky patches and things just to fill in those gaps. Now we're on to the horrible, horrible chemicals. Let me 
move this out of the way so it can dry somewhere. So now I've got to weigh what's left in here. So I have 66 grams. I know that my cup is 8 grams. Can't do those maths in my head. Let's open up Pornhub and I've got 66 minus 8, 58 grams and then I need 3% added so I need to put in another 2 grams of whatever this is, this putty stuff or the uh, fumed silica. 2 grams of that horrible shit has to go into, oh god, it's so dusty. 2 grams of that has to get added to my, my pot here. Oh, this is going to take forever because it's so light. Oh, the dust is going everywhere. Two grams. Jesus. Let's put the lid on that. Close it up tight and throw it in the ocean where it's safe. Right, next I've got to mix this stuff through. It is so light, it barely even exists. It mixes like a liquid, really. Oh, wow. Damn, that is a really thick paste. All right, so it's mostly gelled through now, so that's good. I can mix it with a bit more vigor. Fume silica, everybody! Look at that. Right, and now I'm going to paste it onto the sides of my thing here. So this is epoxy laminating resin mixed with this fumed silica to give me a smooth surface. Because I was trying to sand this smooth and then just paint more resin on and then sand it smooth again and then paint on more resin. And it just, it was never going smooth. So it was just constantly rough. This, however, I think this will be the business. Now, I'm not going to put a lot on here because the more I put on, the more I have to sand. And I've learned that sanding it is a horrible, painful task. So, I'm going to avoid that as best I can. Looks like I got the portions right as well. So, I did 50 grams of resin to mix up with my other ingredients. I've got space for 50 grams. Okay, I am super impressed with that. That's allowed me to putty out all of the holes and imperfections, use the scraper to make sure I don't put too much on and I've just got a very thin layer of coat in the entire mold. Uh, that should be cured in about an hour because I'm using the fast hardener now, which is working way better. The slow hardeners were taking so long uh, to dry. So the individual stages were taking like two days. That's why it's taking so long to get to this point. That and the fact that I've been working all the extra hours. So this now, I have to let it set for an hour. Um, I'll come out and check again, just in case I need to spread any more on top of it. Chances are I'll be able to cure that overnight and be able to sand it tomorrow into a smooth finish. And then, maybe, just maybe, we can get it secured to this blackboard and start thinking about putting the chop strand mat out or cloth, I'm going to use cloth, to get this mould set. Maybe we could get a gel coat on this tomorrow. 
so that's it. Uh, no more for this video. Don't breathe any fuel, fume silica. Uh, don't hug any strangers. Look after each other. Make good choices. And I hope everyone is doing well. This lockdown extension is probably going to happen for another four or five weeks. Uh, it's very strange times to be living in. So just uh, look after yourselves. Keep yourself busy and don't drink too much. I was finding I was drinking every single day, so I am off the sauce for a while. Take a couple of days of a break. If you can't take a couple of days of a break, then you've probably got a problem and you need to stop for a longer period. That's my public health on it, public, uh, public safety announcement health thing. Just look after each other, make good choices, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye!